Hi, I'm Juliet Ferguson. People call me Jet for short, Sotheby's International Realty in Carmel, California. And today I'm interviewing Rich Gray of Certified Environmental. Certified Environmental. So we call him the mold guy because he's the expert. And I was so lucky to meet you in a house recently in Pacific Grove, 509 18th Street. And we're representing the buyers, Natalie and I. And Rich told me so many things about mold that I am so fascinated. So how did you get into this business to become the expert on mold? Well, interesting, Jet. I, I came down from Tahoe. I was a builder. Actually, I was a California, California contractor, mm -hmm. and I built a lot of homes. And when I moved to Pebble Beach, I brought my business with me, and I had the paint company. We would paint a house in Pebble Beach, and we'd be called within a week and say, or within a couple of months, and they'd say, "Hey, this mold came back again." So I went then. This was in the late 80s early 90s and went back to school got my credentials and started doing mold inspections and mold remediation yeah you have a lot of credentials what do these mean cmi cmr certified microbial inspector certified microbial remediator crie is a certified residential indoor inspector and the CIAM, CIAQM is a certified indoor air quality manager. I could manage wow. the Empire State Building. <laughs> wow. So it's about like four or 500 for a buyer or seller to have a home inspection to find out that the air is safe? Yeah, yeah. 490 is my regular price. I'll come in, I'll do my inspection, which, which really allows me to draw on my experience as a uh, contractor. I know what's inside yeah. the walls. So I'll inspect the house, and if I find where a culprit may be, mm -hmm. I'll test it to find out what it is. Mm -hmm. There's 100,000 kinds of mold. All of them are allergenic. Three of them could put you in the hospital. And that's what we want to know. And what the three kind of, are the dangerous, which are, they, what California are they called? California calls them toxic molds. Toxic, toxic, toxic Out of 100,000, there's three. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, Stachybotrys is the king of them all. That's the worst. Is that um, black mold? That's yeah, or, that's a black. That's a black mold. Okay. But molds come in different colors. It's all black mold. All, all mold. A lot of mold is black. Not all black mold is that dangerous. But still, mold is not a good thing to have. Right. Yeah. Okay. But some are okay, or none are good. You know, for an average person, some are okay. I mean, uh, I mean, we live in mold. There's mold everywhere. I would There's think. mold outside. You cannot live without having mold. Right. The problem is when you enclose, a, you have a building like this that's enclosed, and right. mold starts to grow. It mm -hmm. takes water to grow. It takes food to grow, and it takes air to grow. So. If we so we come in and we'll inspect with our moisture meters to find out if there's any moisture in the walls. Mm -hmm. If there's moisture, you're probably going to have mold. And I, as a realtor, am excited but was nervous when I first met you. Just nervous because my clients that were buyers, I was afraid that they weren't going to get their dream house, and it ended up being not a big deal that I was afraid of. Yeah. It's not. Let me tell you a story. Uh, when I first started this about 12 years ago, I would do a job up in Pebble Beach. I did a job up in Pebble Beach. $80,000 for a mold remediation in a kitchen. Just the kitchen. Wow. Because they had to tear all the granite out. And it was beautiful cabinets. Oh. And they, you can't, you got to put them all back. $80,000. Today, that same job would cost about $5,000. Why? We, because we don't have to do all the tearing out. I have, there's a company. Uh, pasteurization. That's exactly right. Yep. I am a fan of pasteurization. It's wonderful. I'm seriously excited about mold now. It takes the fear out of mold. You it know, does. when people ask me, you know, what do you do? And I say, well, what I do, you probably don't even care about. Uh, it's like if you don't have a disease, you don't care about the disease. But if you get the disease, you really want to know. Yeah. Same thing with mold. People don't care about mold until they get it. All right. of a sudden, they're frantic because they hear these horror stories. And with 100,000 types of mold and only three being the worst, yeah. you're going to freak out because every house has mold. Every so you house need to will investigate. Have, every, every house will have mold in the air. It's just what's going on behind the walls, under the, under the floors, and in the ceiling. If there's colonies, it's sporiating continually by the billions. So all of a sudden, you're getting this little enclosure full of mold spores, and that's all you're breathing, which is not a good thing. Right. Yeah. And what was great with our buyers uh, buying in Pacific Grove recently is 
they they're trying to save money this is a big deal getting into their first house yeah. so and the mold inspections if you keep adding rooms and different things could add up yeah. but what what my client asked you was if it were your house would you do this or this and you said the one because the pasteurization will resolve the mold in well, the kitchen if there is any and I recommend anybody that's buying a house or that lives in a house for more than six or seven years have it pasteurized it's a little expensive to do every five years but you end up with a pristine condition the house is clean there's nothing in it but this is what excites me about this pasteurization process am I allowed to say this uh, about pets you don't want mm -hmm. okay well, I can't say it but, but can. I can okay so so I had clients that had like beetle bugs and termites they needed to get rid of it was about 3,500 to get rid of them in maybe a 1500 square foot house with a separate garage interestingly enough same place with the mold and instead of all the chemicals to get rid of the beetle bugs and which are so expensive to get rid of those beetle bugs right. and the termites Pesky. and the mold you could just get rid of all of them with yeah. pasteurization for around what three thousand dollars what a, yeah whatever around the same price. so so pasteurization was actually came out of stanford university their whole purpose of it was to find out if it would kill termites that's why they did it so the, the 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 issue that we have now is if you have mold you want to mold you want it remediated the termite guys can't do it right the remediating guys can't do the termites because of the the well, they the pest can't control. do yeah. the termites they can't say they do they can't say they do the termites but they can kill the termites even well, if they can't tell, say I, they can kill the yeah, termites i tell no i tell the i tell the client you know if you have any any pets that are termites get them out of there Right, because you don't want to kill them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And those beetle bugs, you want to protect so you, them and tell them to go out so you don't kill them. So, so in order to stay within the parameters of the law, the Pest Control Board doesn't want the people that are doing the work to say they do pests because right. they're not licensed to do pests. Even though they do kill pests, yeah. they are not licensed yeah. to kill pests. Yeah, that's right. Okay. So, and like the pest control guys can't kill mold. They have to be licensed to kill mold interesting huh well interesting now I'm gonna ask you a reverse question which you might not like but can the termite thing kill the mold no no so the mold can kill the termites but the termites can't kill the mold so you might as well, well just do the, the yeah, right the heat'll kill the yeah kill the heat the, yeah. from the pasteurization sure. can kill both so that's why I like that it saves my clients money well and that's your business right you, you want to save the clients business right yeah absolutely so I think we're going to have to have you back to talk about deeper no. levels of mold because we're already out of time. I have so many great stories. <laughs> I love my job. I, I, yeah, you I know, I'm tell. 75 years old. I should be you retired, don't but it. I love doing what I do. That's I awesome. love helping people. I mean, it's a great thing. It's a yeah. great thing. So, yeah, I love it. And I'd love to come back. Yeah. Oh, good. Because we definitely want to talk about other types of mold. Sure. I did not know I would be fascinated by mold. Anyway, Rich, if you could please give your local phone number sure. for people. Sure. I'm at 831-970-7089. Say that you, one more time. Or you not 831-970-7089. And then we've got the 650-515-1682 um, as it. another that's a Silicon Valley. Silicon Valley. Mold yeah. number. Yeah. Thank you so much, Rich, You're for welcome. coming. I appreciate your time. My pleasure.